Hi, I'm Chad with Move Forward Guitar. This lesson is from our series, How to Memorize Guitar Notes. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to memorize the notes on your fretboard by finding unison triads. First off, if you like all the diagrams from this series, including the diagrams from this lesson, you can download our free e-guide, Memorize Guitar Notes. But I am working on it right now as I'm filming this lesson, so it might not be available as you're watching the lesson. But once it is available, a link will pop up on the screen that will allow you to download it. And like I said, it's free, so there's no reason not to download it when it is available. This is part 19 from our series, How to Memorize Guitar Notes. If you'd like to go back and start at the beginning, you can click the link on the screen. So in the last lesson, we worked on memorizing notes on the fretboard by finding vertical triads. For example, we started with the C major triad, like what's on your screen, and we would have taken the highest note, moved it to the lowest note, but keeping it on three adjacent strings, and that would put it into a different inversion. This lesson, we're doing something different. We're going to play, and I'll just start with the same triad, a triad on the first, second, and third strings, but then we're going to find each one of these notes to make a new triad, but it'll be in the exact same pitch because all these notes are moving to unison notes. So it'll, if you're in root position when you're starting off, it'll be a root position triad and it'll be the same pitch. So this will help you with more than just memorizing the fretboard, just like the last lesson and a lot of these other lessons that we went over in exercises. It's going to help you really visualize how your guitar is broken up, how your fretboard is broken up, and visualize where your unison notes are and not just, for example, if you're looking for another C, not just find all the Cs, which could be in different octaves. You're going to quickly be able to recognize where your unison notes are because that's really important to be able to tell the difference between a unison note or an octave. And it also gives you more options for playing something that's going to sound pretty much the exact same but in different spots on your fretboard. It'll sound a little different because the string gauges make them sound a little different. Also, the intonation of your guitar can make it sound a little different. But for the most part, if I was to play one note or one chord in one spot and then play the exact same chord with all unison notes, it's going to, for the most part, sound the same. Unlike playing a chord and then moving it to a different octave, that's going to sound a lot different. And again, if you don't understand triads, watch our series, Music Theory for Guitar. I talk all about triads and how to build them and much more, so it'll be really valuable to you. And it's just a free series on YouTube, so you can watch it at any time. So again, we're just going to start with the same C major triad that we started with in the last lesson on the first, second, and third strings. Now, instead of moving the highest note to the lowest note and getting a different inversion, we're just going to move this whole chord, every single note, to a unison note on the next set of strings, so the second, third, and fourth strings. So your C moves to a unison, your E moves to a unison, and your G moves to a unison. And it would look like this. So both those triads are unison to each other, so they're going to sound pretty much the same except for the reasons I mentioned just a second ago. Then you can do it again. You're going to run out of room really quick, but you can do it as high as you can reach on your fretboard. So if you moved all these notes to unison notes on the next strings, it would look like this. And again, all three of these triads are unisons to each other. And again, as you're doing it, it's not the point of this is not just to memorize triads by muscle memory or play shapes. It's to really visualize where these notes are. So for example, if you were to play this triad here, it's really important to visualize that your C that is on this string is moving to the next string towards the ceiling and where that next C is, that the E on this string, the second string, is moving to the next string towards the ceiling and where that E lands, and then to visualize where this G is on the first string and where it would be on the unison note on the second string. So you're really visualizing how to move these to unison notes. So again, if you don't know your triad shapes very well, it's actually easier for memorizing the notes because once you know your shapes, it's pretty easy just to use muscle memory and play the shapes up and down. But the point of this is to really visualize where these notes land on your fretboard. And that was in root position. You can do it in the other inversions. So here is second inversion and you can do the same thing. Just move all your notes to unison notes and you'd end up there. And I didn't mention this in the last lesson, but it would probably be helpful when you played one of the chords, you could strum it, but then you could play each note arpeggiate it, so just let your pick fall through each string, and say the note names as you play them. So you'd pluck G, say it, pluck C, say it, pluck E, say it. You could just do it like you're arpeggiating the chord, but say the notes as you did it, and do that every place that you move. And that's really going to help lock in where these notes are landing and what notes you're actually playing. 
Then once you do it with the major triads, you can do it with the minor triads, exact same thing. And then you can do diminished triads, augmented triads. And then again, once you've done it in C, you can move to another key. You can move it to G, A, B, whatever. So this is just another trick that not only will help you memorize the notes on your fretboard, but be really useful in understanding how your fretboard is broken up and for memorizing triads and understanding the difference between playing triads that are unison to each other and notes that are unison to each other or triads or notes that are octaves apart from each other. So that's how you can memorize notes using unison triads. Go ahead and move on to the next lesson where I'm going to show you how you can memorize notes using something I call triads with anchor notes. And be sure to download the e-guide. All the diagrams are in there and be sure to subscribe because we had at least one new lesson every day.